Alex Different. MacDonald and I uh, work with the Ashley Return to Ireland project that uh, I've done for the last, coming up to 15 years now and uh, we started off in a place called Arlington House which is a very big hostel in Camden Town. Camden Town in London. Ashling, it's a, it's a very old Irish net word. A dream of returning to Ireland. It was, uh, it was a very ancient kind of Gaelic poetry from the early Celtic times. And that was the inspiration we got because we felt that a lot of our people had a dream and their dream was to return back to Ireland. And for a lot of them, uh, that dream just didn't happen. So we felt that um, where we could actually make a difference to people's lives, people who were homeless, vulnerable, living alone, living in huge big hostels and uh, little bed sits and uh, we felt some way of intervening in their lives and one way of doing it was to take them home. We started out in Arlington House 15 years ago, uh, 1993 and um, Arlington House is the biggest hostel in Europe. There's 400 people living in there and half of them were Irish, which is like 200 people out of uh, 400. They may have been working in um, manual labour, they were getting old, weren't able to work anymore, weren't able to go out and do a, do a shift and were living in this big hostel and uh, there was people who maybe had very, 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 very serious um, mental health problems and also also had an awful lot of um, dependency problems with alcohol and things like that. Mm -hmm. Everywhere you went around there you just see an Irish voice, yeah. you know. But Patrick, Patrick Kavanagh lived there, the poet. Really? I think he said that um, um, he walked around the, the, the corridors in Arlington House, he felt the, uh, the, the soft accents from Mayo and the west of Ireland and from uh, Donegal fell like rain on, on the arid patches of his brain or his memory, you know, this is how he put it. It's and very it's eloquently uh, described and very moving. Mm, yeah. uh. We go back to Ireland four times a year. and. Um, the, the next one will be around the week of St. Patrick's week. Well, St. Patrick's Day itself, we're staying in Wicklow, uh, so we're not supposed to be not too far from Dublin. And uh, we'll be in, uh, we'll be in O'Connell Street for Austin Stevens Green, maybe, for the, uh, for the parade itself. And then in the afternoon, we've been invited to Ardlow Hanlon's house for, for, for lunch. Oh, and and himself and his wife make lunch. Isn't that us. lovely? What a very uh, generous supporter yeah, you have yes, in uh, Ardlow O'Hanlon. I think um, uh, a lot of Irish people uh, feel a bit ashamed about uh, poverty and you know not making it in this world. The shame is if people don't acknowledge the hardship of their fellow citizens mm -hmm. and the shame is uh, if they don't do anything about it. Our next dream basically is to, uh, to build a house. That's what we're going to do, we're going to build a house. And uh, we have a we have uh, we have a site which has been donated to us by Camp Kerry County Council in Tralee, and uh, we've um, we've long had this dream and a long long hope to make it happen. You're going to have a marvelous time in St Patrick's Day in Ireland. You've realised a dream for a lot of people. Uh, you've made the dream a reality. Ashling returned to Ireland. You'll have, I'm sure you'll have a fantastic time and I wish you all the best and a very happy St. Patrick's Day to you and to all your returnees. Well, thank you and thanks, thanks to everybody who's watching this and I would like to wish everybody who is watching this a very, very happy St. Patrick's Day.